Hey guys, today we're back working at the dairy farm. It's yet another beautiful Saturday morning here at the farm. It's just past 8 a.m. It's already 89 degrees. I think it's going to get up to the mid-90s. Now, today, guys, we aren't going to be doing any field work, a lot of work around the farm. And if you guys didn't see last week, we did end up demoing the Kubota 952S. And I will say, guys, they offered me a great deal. So we kept it on the trailer and brought it right home. That means we bought it. And I can't wait to put it in the machine shed here today. Now, along with it, we did end up getting a few pallet forks along with bale forks and a bucket. Now you guys might be asking did I demo any other brands and I will say I really like the Kubota parts are cheap really easy to get to here in town so let's head on back to machine shed. Let's get the old 86 Ford fired on up here. Now, guys, we're going to be making a lot more trips into town to get supplies, haul machines back and forth. So, I'm going to start to look for a second farm truck here. We're going to be keeping this around, but we do need to look for a new one here. We are having some money come in from selling crop and uh, uh, a few of the other things we are doing here. So, I think it's time for us to get a second one. I'm not sure which brand, which generation, but uh, probably something in the mid-2000s here. We don't have too much money and... And I don't really want to be spending it all on a farm truck here since we do need to purchase some more equipment. Oh man, guys, it looks like we actually left the baler here on and we do have a seed here, the planter in here. So I'm thinking uh, before I even bring the skid in, I think we're going to probably park it there. But uh, why don't we hop there in the 8410, probably move both of these to the uh, storage uh, sheds as well. That way it gives us some more room uh, so we could get working on some of the machines here. Because guys, uh, we do need this uh, opened up here now with the 8910, a quick oil change is needed and then I don't think there's anything there as well but very soon guys we got to get these uh, semis up and running they've been sitting for quite a long time and we're gonna have to look into those but let me get all this put away quickly now guys when you own a farm there is a lot of farm work here and I will say it's definitely part of the fun but when you are recording it does take a little bit longer here but if you guys do want to see more here with this series please let me know down below hit the like button it is much appreciated as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms and I do have a full mods list link down below every single mod we use here with this series can be found over there there is quite a few so I highly recommend you check that on out here but let's see if we get these doors open up I have no sometimes the doors are a bit sticky here the hinges I uh, just really don't want to be slotting there on those rails but let's see if we can put this inside here now I do remember this being a tight fit it is a pretty big uh, barrel here I didn't realize how big it is until it was on the back of the tractor that worked out pretty well there. Now, I'm not sure if we could fit the other planter inside here. So, I think we're going to hold off on that. But at least uh, we uh, did open up some room here to be able to fit the uh, Kubota and to move around as well. And like I mentioned before, guys, this is a heated and cooled shop. So, that's why it's really important that we do have some space here. But today, we are actually going to be doing a few other things once we uh, get the Kubota unloaded. Alright, let's get the PJ trailer drop there. Now, you guys own, we own quite a bit of acreage. We need a way to get around the farm, and uh, I'm not sure a farm truck is always going to be the easiest thing here. So, guys, I've been looking all over for the cheapest thing we could buy, and I think I found it here. An old lady is selling a Honda three-wheeler. Uh, she said that she had it for when the grandchildren visited the property, but they're too old for it. And I thought, hey, this might be small, but it will do the trick here. She's only asking like five, six hundred dollars here for it. So, let's head on over there and I do want to grab a bite to eat since it's right around lunchtime and we're already gonna be here in town now guys I've really been enjoying the farming series so far I have so many cool ideas here I do want to be as realistic as possible but role played at the same time and maybe have a few people hop in game to help out I think that should be a lot of fun all right it looks like we're coming up here on the address let's just double check yep this seems to be it here she said to come around uh, and she'll come on out of house here but pretty nice property I will say guys living in a farm town is pretty sweet here you pretty much know everyone and it's a very nice a community here but let's see let's see she said it was in a shed around back if we could see it oh I do see a few sheds we'll keep looking and oh yeah I see it wow that looks pretty small 
Here it is boys, a Honda three-wheeler. I believe she said this is a 1984 model. Hey, it's just a few years older than our Ford over there, but uh, that's in good condition. This thing seems like it's uh, pretty rust-free. Wow, I'm a bit surprised for being so old. It might have sat outside for a few years, but maybe just uh, getting the seat redone here on it. But I will say, guys, these Hondas do last quite a bit of time, and they do have some pretty decent engines. Oh yeah, this thing gets fired right on up, no problem. That is unbelievable here. So really quickly, I do just want want to kind of drive around the yard just to double check uh, it makes uh, it works and everything like that we don't have any problems with the drive train uh, the gear uh, the chain on the uh, back gears anything like that no everything seems to be good so I'm gonna load it into the truck and I did bring uh, money with me so I would just pay here and then we'll be on the road back to the farm we're heading home, guys, with our new to us Honda three wheeler. I did a little bit in negotiations. I got it for five hundred ten dollars. Uh, she was asking six hundred here. I think that's a pretty fair deal. Now I am gonna have to buy some oil and do an oil change here on, and just make sure everything's good to go. Maybe a quick engine tune-up, but it seems to be running fine. Seems to be idling a okay there as well. But up next, guys, we are gonna be uh, starting the process of buying cows. We are gonna be buying a hundred fifty cows, guys. Yes, a 150 it's gonna be a lot of work here I actually did end up renting a trailer here as well uh, so that's gonna be great for us so we're actually gonna have to head back into town once we get this dropped off Alright guys, we're back here at the farm. Really quickly, we'll just put it here in the house garage here. I, there should be enough from the garage. It's a bit too small to fit a farm truck, but hey, we can fit a few farm toys here. And as we do make more and more money here, I do want to get some more of these. Uh, maybe uh, side by side, something cool like that. But we'll get it unloaded here. We'll just roll it right on in. And then it's back to town. Like I have mentioned guys, our farm is a dairy farm where we're going to be taking care of cows and uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of chickens at the farmhouse, but mainly cows. We're going to be uh, doing the dairy side of it because there's big money to be made and there is just so many tasks around it that can make for some pretty good videos. And hey, I, I like to change it up a bit. Now we are doing a bit of crop as well, but our main uh, priority, our main purpose of the farm is a dairy. We're back in town at the Case dealership. Oh boy, guys, seems like every time I come here, I'm spending money, even if it is for parts and buying parts does add up after a little bit of time here. So let's get back on up here. I believe this livestock trailer can probably fit around 10 cows, which uh, should be no problem here. We're all ready to go really quickly. We're going to do a light check. We're going to go there and brake lights, everything like that seems to be working perfect. And uh, the best part about this, guys, right next door to the dealership is actually going to be uh, the place where we're we're going to be buying the cows, which is actually right next door to this diner here. So we might have to stop, but I think we're probably going to make five, six trips here today to pick up cows and then probably a few more tomorrow. And by the start of the new week here, we should have it. But let's see, let's see. It looks like we just have to drive right on through. Oh, wow. It looks like they have this pretty well planned out. A bit narrow of a door here, but oh yeah, no problem getting in. Just going to have to watch that side. We'll keep it going, keep it going. Oh yeah, pretty decent job here. You guys can see, wow, uh, very nicely done. Here we have $15,000 worth of cows here. You guys can see we got a few variations there, which is a good thing, but uh, this 86 Ford is going to get a pretty big workout here. I'm probably saying we probably are at uh, maybe 10,000 pounds here. I could already feel it here. Putting my foot down, it's taking a lot of power to keep on going here. Now, a few people did mention that the diesel in this truck was made by International. I will say that is pretty sweet. It's so cool, and I, I just really do like it here. I like some of the older diesels. They are just great workhorses, and uh, they're pretty easy to get parts and things like that. Oh, boy, I could definitely feel it here on it. You could see uh, the powertrain there uh, really working it, but let's get on back to farm, and I'm just going to keep making trips today. We're back at the farm, but guys, I did take it a bit slower here. There's just so much weight here. Probably not the best brakes on this old farm truck, but you guys can see this thing continues to get the job done here for us, which is awesome, but I think our next farm truck is going to be a dually here. We just do so many things, hauling some heavy machines and uh, other things like that here, but I, I believe that's where we uh, pick up the milk, and the next one here is actually where we're going to be unloading the cows here. I can't wait to see the cows moving around now. Like I have mentioned before, guys, we do have some hay bales, we do have some supplies, and we do have a machine. So the rest of the supplies uh, we're going to be having to buy from other farmers uh, until we get fully operational, which uh, shouldn't take too long. We're all unloaded. Take a look at that, guys. They're running around the cow pen there, which is awesome. So I'm going to do uh, maybe four or five of these, and then I'll catch you guys back to call it a day. 
After a full day's worth of work of driving back and forth here, bringing the cows to the farm. Take a look at that, guys. We've got the outside area all ready to go. We have about 25 cows in here, and then the other 125 are in the red barn here and the outside area here. So look at that. So many cows. I can't wait for all the work to really begin. But until next time, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's farming video back on Lone Oak County. It's been a lot of fun, but so many field work. Uh, so many things will be coming here soon but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more